Officially this morning, on 30th of uh, October 2023, I want to report that uh, we, as a Minister of Education, have prepared and we are ready to make sure that we deliver credible examination this time, as we always do. Uh, so we have uh, 1,282,575 candidates in Kipsea. These are candidates in grade 6 who are doing their education assessment in 32,584 centers countrywide. We have 3,823 candidates in Kilea. Kilea is Kenya intermediate level education assessment that is done uh, with our learners with special needs and we are having them in 484 centers uh, countrywide. Uh, we have 1,415,315 candidates doing their KCPE starting today in 28,533 centers countrywide. Uh, we have put all the measures in place uh, to ensure that these exams are done well. From the identification of invigilators and supervisors by the Teacher Service Commission, uh, looking and uh, emphasizing on the integrity of the person. And we have also said that uh, no supervisor should repeat a center more than twice as a supervisor and an invigilator so that uh, then we bring in objectivity. You know, the more you get used to a place, then your objectivity goes, and, and then you may start having some, because you have known the place. Uh, listening to Mr. Barongo and also seeing what has been done, uh, you can imagine the kind of logistics that they go through. It's, a, it's not a simple, matter. It's not a simple matter. In fact, uh, if you look at it, the logistics that the teachers go through to make sure that all these exams are everywhere for these young people. Just maybe the other institution that you can mirror is the logistics that the IEBC goes through. It's a very serious logistical undertaking. It's not simple at all. They have increased the containers, uh, the exams uh, are secure. Um, when they collect them from the container, they, they are under security watch. They are brought to the institution, they finish, 
they are taken back again where they are kept for safe custody again under security watch and this is happening all over the country so you can imagine uh, what it takes the future of uh, our young boys and girls is extremely important to all of us and therefore uh, me coming here and uh, the president being elsewhere and other leaders we are actually partnering with uh, the Department of Education to show that uh, we all want the integrity of our exams to be upheld and to be beyond reproach. That is what we are seeking here. So by us joining and encouraging them at this particular moment, uh, I think it is not just a question of us being here for the sake of it. I think we want to send a very strong symbolism to the people of Kenya that the integrity of the exams is paramount so that uh, uh, their, their credentials can be recognized, not just within our boundaries, but even uh, beyond. So that is absolutely important. This time round, sir, to make sure that uh, we effectively deliver this examination, we are again saying that uh, the supervisors and vigilators that are primary school teachers man their exam in primary school. And the teachers in secondary school uh, also man the examination in secondary school. That means the invigilators and the supervisors at secondary school level are going to be secondary school teachers. Um, to eliminate again what uh, has been uh, slightly bedeviling us, that is early exposure, uh, at secondary school level we are going to have the container opened twice. One in the morning at 7 uh, a.m. in the morning, so that we get the morning paper only, the papers that are done in that morning. And then once these papers are, have been done, then they are returned to the container for us to get the, second, the, the paper that was being done in the, in the afternoon, uh, so that then we can, uh, we can have very little time uh, that the teachers have or the school has with the examination.